So official welcome to Open Life Science from my side as well. I'm very excited to have you all on the call. And I'll give you a very quick overview of what this program is about and what you will be learning. So you met Bernice uh, and you and me. We are the organizers of this program and we will always have Emmy in the call who will be co-hosting this with us. So as a team, we believe that to be effective, science should be shared openly with others and made freely available. And you're here with us to do similar amount of work that we have planned for you and we have also done in our program. We're here to share what we have learned and we hope that you will find them useful. The Open Life Science program has been designed to help early stage researcher and po potential academic leaders to become open science ambassadors. Maybe this is a bit outdated because we've seen a lot more different varieties of project come into the program. And a lot of you are probably not academic or early career researchers. So please don't uh, think that this is very much limited to uh, this definition anymore. So again, we think that science can advance only we share our work with other and not, uh, not gatekeep it or com compete for knowledge that others can benefit from. But often researchers are very skeptical about sharing their work due to their fear of getting scooped, being criticized or, or not knowing what they can or cannot share. Uh, because often one of the rewards that we have in research is paper and a lot of papers are tend to be novel. So this novelty often reduces the chances of people sharing work from the beginning as they are developing. In this program, we will discuss how to work openly without becoming scientific vulnerable. What we would like to do is to share information around how you can own the work that you've done, but at the same time, be collaborative and open your project for others to come along and work with you. And together we will explore the important concepts in open science and apply them in our work one step at a time. Our cohort calls are organized every second week, but you will have one week breather period where you will have chance to apply the topics that you learn about, apply them in your work, talk to your mentors, but also have a chance to talk about those in Slack or on GitHub uh, issue tracker that we will share uh, towards the end of this call. So this is something that is just a reminder because you all know it's a 15 week long mentorship program which ends with a one week of uh, graduation uh, with people finishing and sharing about what they have worked on. You will be attending cohort based training. If you can't attend it, you will be able to access all the notes and videos on YouTube. Um, and you will be able to talk to us a week later in an open office hour uh, to discuss any topic that you didn't understand or some clarification might be useful for you. We will also give you lots of assignments and these assignments are not to be judged. So we won't look at it. It's really up to you how you take those assignments and apply them into your works. So it's a lot of reflective and experiential learning for you. If you are really, really excited of what, I, what we are teaching you, there are a lot more information out there. And one of the things that Open Life Sciences built upon is Mozilla Open Leadership Principle. And all the materials are online under CC BY. So if you feel that you would like to learn a little bit more, this is something that you can always visit. Um, we will also add the link in the chat for you. The idea of open leadership is that everybody can become open leader because open leaders are people who design, build and empower their projects and communities for understanding, sharing and participation and inclusion. So. I would like to show you this table and this table is something you will see quite a lot as we bring expert speakers and they show you different topics. So we go through design, build, empower, and we build for the understanding, sharing and participation and inclusion. So every time we are working and developing certain aspects of our project, we need to think about, am I designing it for people to understand it? Am I designing it that people can share or build upon my work? Is it actually participatory or inclusive? So this is a thought process that we will go one by one so you don't need to remember it, but this is a principle that we hope you will be able to integrate in everything that you're doing within open science. Again, open science is a huge umbrella term. It can have lots of topic that 
it isn't just restricted to open source software or open access publication, but there is a lot more about open science that you might be interested in. So as you heard, everybody have really diverse ideas. Some of you might want to share data openly, which falls into the term open data. You would like to share your code, which is open source software. Some of you have hardware design, which is open source hardware. Uh, of course, you know about papers and protocol, which can be published in open access. Uh, we also want to encourage you to share your result earlier, which is preprints, sharing pre paper reviews in open reviews. Uh, many of you are working on open education and citizen science, and we would like to bring you all together. So take the opportunity to get to know each other as well, because scientific networking is also a part of open science. Open by design is something we would like you to remember because open by default is not often inclusive or participatory or community led. But when we design them into our project, we can make sure that everything that we are doing is actually built for inclusion and community. So one of the studies in 2012, uh, which had included about 160 tech companies found that the level of strategic intent in openness and not just openness alone correlates with market performance. You can also think about designing openness into your work and it shouldn't be a thoughtless default. This is something that we want to be extremely intentional about. And I think that's what in, is in the core of open life science program. You all are leaders and we believe that with your leadership and your vision combined with what we are teaching in this program, you can achieve a very positive culture change in your community. And we hope you will take the chance to exchange those ideas and thoughts with each other.